Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Danish, and you are watching Iraqi Dinar YouTube channel. Hopefully you all will be fine let's start today. The latest news appears to reflect sentiments and perspectives commonly associated with speculation and hope surrounding the Iraqi Dinar, IQD, and its potential for evaluation, RV, against the US dollar. Understanding this requires delving into the historical context, current economic situation, and the speculative nature of such predictions. The Iraqi dinar has been a subject of speculation for many years, particularly since its significant devaluation following the Gulf War and subsequent economic sanctions imposed on Iraq during the 1990s. During this time, the value of the dinar plummeted dramatically and many individuals and entities acquired large quantities of dinars at very low prices, hoping for a future evaluation that would greatly increase their value. The idea of an RV often revolves around the belief that the Iraqi government will revalue the dinar upwards, potentially restoring its value to pre-war levels or even higher against major currencies like the US dollar. Proponents of this theory argue that such a revaluation could be triggered by various factors including Iraq's improving economic stability, substantial oil reserves, and geopolitical developments in the region. As Iraq is a major oil producer, the logic follows that increased stability and oil production could significantly bolster its economy, thereby increasing the value of its currency. It's crucial to note that these expectations of a sudden and significant increase in the dinar's value are highly speculative and not grounded in typical economic principles. Exchange rates are primarily influenced by a country's economic fundamentals, including its monetary policy, inflation rates political stability, and international market sentiment. Iraq, like many post-conflict nations, faces challenges in these areas, including political instability, corruption, infrastructure deficits, and a heavy reliance on oil revenues. The passage's cautionary tone about exchanging dinars through unofficial or unverified channels underscores the risks associated with speculative investments and exotic currencies especially when promises of high returns are involved. Scams and fraudulent schemes have targeted individuals holding Iraqi dinars, promising insider knowledge or special access to high-value exchanges that often never materialize. These schemes exploit the hopes of investors who are looking for quick and substantial profits. Discussions around keeping the zeros on refer to a hypothetical scenario where the dinar's denomination would remain unchanged even after revaluation. This idea appeals to investors because it implies a direct and immediate increase in wealth without needing to readjust large amounts of currency. However, in reality, Currency revaluations are rare and typically occur under specific economic conditions dictated by the issuing country's monetary policy and broader economic strategy. Central banks carefully manage exchange rates to ensure economic stability and growth, aiming for gradual adjustments rather than sudden speculative windfalls. For those holding Iraqi dinars or considering investment in them, it's essential to approach with caution and to seek advice from reputable financial experts. Financial decisions should be based on thorough research, an understanding of geopolitical and economic contexts, and realistic expectations rather than on speculative rumors or unverified claims. Informed decision-making and cautious financial planning are crucial in any investment strategy to avoid the pitfalls of speculation and the potential for significant financial loss. While the idea of an Iraqi dinar evaluation generating substantial wealth overnight remains appealing to some, it is essential to approach such speculation with skepticism and awareness of the risks involved. The passage reflects a common sentiment among investors hoping for a windfall but underscores the importance of informed decision making and cautious financial planning. For anyone considering investments in volatile or speculative markets, understanding the broader economic landscape and seeking credible advice is paramount to making sound financial choices.